To reduce you and break your ego to the degree that you will be comfortable to reconvene with the unknown. Because your mommy wants you to come home. And so all that you fear and all that you dread are thought forms and all those thought forms each has an angelic intelligence behind each thought form. Each of them have legions working below them and are awarded jurisdiction to break your lens of perception so that you may expand it and return home. So individuals that are struggling with fear and dread is it not that you feel fear and dread, you feel fear and dread because you have eliminated mother in creation. And that you cannot conceive and reflect upon a call for bonding and nurturing with the unknown. And so it is dark and fierce. And to the degree that you fear is the degree that measure for measure you attract more and more and more to barge down your will, to break down your conception, your lens of how things ought to be, to humble you. Because your lens does not include the fullness of the Creator. And so lesson after lesson after lesson of fear and intimidation echoes forth and manifests and crystallizes in your reality measure for measure to the degree that you do not expand and embrace a greater definition of the Creator, a greater intimacy with the unknown, a greater reverence for the nurturing of the Divine Feminine. The Queen of Hearts is calling. It asks you to set aside your declarations of potential and begin to deliver in actual, in the form of your heart's cadence or reunion. And on a practical level, any person that is in fear and dread, should the individual inverse it and confront the energy at source, and say, I understand you've been delivered this mandate and jurisdiction to conquer me because I've ignored aspects of the mother in creation. And I recognize this and I will expand my definition and I will open a welcomeness to the unknown because the unknown is the portal by which I can be delivered from my small prison and I will dance with the unknown like I dance with the lover in the night because it is always more romantic in the dark and I will develop a reverence for the intimacy that's available in the dark in the unknown and I will honor it I will cherish it, the closeness, the bonding that is available in the dark. And to the degree 
that the individual approaches these episodes in this way, there will be no such episodes. And there will be no darkness. And it will be bright. And the Creator will be illuminated as carrying you step by step upon your journey.